as an act of gratitude on your part, that gratitude is re-expressed to you. And you talk a lot about that, right? That difference between service and hospitality. What are some of the things that you've learned about how you teach your teams the difference between service and hospitality? Well, we have a, a very, very easy uh, equation, which is we want to get 100 on our test. We're looking for 100% employees, just like we know that they're looking for 100% employers. And we try to be as clear as we can with what that means, which is that the most of the 100 points they can get from doing what they're paid to do incredibly well, which is really hard for any of us, is 49 of the points, which leaves 51 of the points for how they make people feel while they're doing that thing. And we don't want to get a 51 on our test because that's a fail. In other words, hospitality without the technical stuff isn't going to work. And the technical stuff without the hospitality is also not going to work. So we're really demanding. But what's great is that people who have a heart for hospitality love working with other people who have a heart for hospitality. And people who are all about excellence love working with people who are all about excellence. So if you get that magic and you get the flywheel going, What's amazing is that your staff really becomes your greatest recruiter in a certain way because they want to work. That law of attraction. Yeah. Yeah.